Hello friends, in this video we make methyl salicylate, an ester of salicylic acid, also known as oil of wintergreen. Methyl salicylate is an ester of salicylic acid which has this pleasant smell of wintergreen oil, hence used in the preparation of cosmetics and also used in topical creams. Materials required for this preparation includes 10 grams of salicylic acid, 40 milliliters of methanol, 4 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide to neutralize the acids. Start by fixing a small 100 milliliter round bottom flask to a stand and then add 10 grams of salicylic acid to it. It is a white fluffy powder. Now add 40 milliliters of methanol over it. You can clearly see a lot of salicylic acid dissolving soon after addition of methanol. With the help of a glass stirring rod, mix up the contents so that salicylic acid gets completely dissolved in methanol resulting in a clear solution. Now we add 4 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid gradually. Do not add the acid all at once as it will react with the water present in methanol and quickly heats up, leaving methanol vapors in the atmosphere which is very dangerous. Also it will cause a loss of yield. Once the acid is added, we set up the mixture for a gentle reflex for 1 hour. The flask is placed in an oil bath and a Liebig condenser is attached on top of the flask. Now let us see what's happening here. What is happening here is known as a Fischer esterification reaction named after the scientist Emil Fischer who first explained it. Carboxylic acid, in this case salicylic acid, reacts with primary alcohol, here methyl alcohol, in the presence of acid catalyst to form an ester. Alcohol should be present in excess and water is formed as the side product. After one hour, heating is removed and flask is allowed to cool to room temperature. Then the contents are poured into a 100 ml cold distilled water taken in a beaker. This will precipitate out all the unreacted salicylic acid. In the next step, we add sodium hydroxide solution, just enough to neutralize the acid. You can check the pH of the solution by using a litmus paper and we can stop adding sodium hydroxide solution when the solution turns basic to litmus. When the acids get completely neutralized, the solution turns clear and a slight yellow tinge can be seen and you can actually see a blob underneath the aqueous layer and this is our desired product. Some amount of ester has not come down to the beaker and is remaining in suspension in the liquid and that has to be extracted via solvent extraction method. So first I pour the contents to a separate refunnel and then drain the lower blob of the crude ester. Now we add 40 ml of dichloromethane to the remaining solution and mix it up thoroughly. Don't forget to do the cap, shake and frequent venting to prevent the pressure building up in the separatory funnel. Now we add this to a 100 ml round bottom flask and also add the crude ester to it. Now set up a simple distillation and at temperatures of around 50 degrees celsius all the dichloromethane will distill over which was collected in order to reuse the solvent. Then the temperature was raised to around 100 degrees celsius when water present in the flask boiled out. 
After about 5 minutes, the temperature quickly shooted up to around 180 degrees Celsius and then ester started to come over the distillation apparatus. It was collected by placing a small round bottom flask at the end of the condenser. The ester that distilled over to the receiving flask was very clear, transparent solution. To prevent the ester from condensing in the distilling head, I covered the distilling head with some aluminium foil to facilitate the transfer of heat. After some time you see no more distillate coming over and the temperature has shot up to around 200 degrees Celsius and more indicating the end of distillation. We have collected around 4 milliliters of the ester here. At the end of the distillation, the distilling flask was left with some yellow colored oily substance which was removed and in the receiving flask we are left with some nice crystal clear ester that is methyl salicylate. It was then dried using anhydrous calcium chloride and was stored in a dram vial. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server. I will put a link to that in the description. Thank you.